Radio. I'm your host for Adrenaline Motorsports. Uh, the uh, radio program is on 1680 AM on your dial. Uh, this week I'm going to uh, kind of give you a review on a new and up-and-coming sponsor that is going to be on board with us here in the next few weeks. Uh, i uh, very pleased to have them as well. Uh, they're also uh, manufacturers of various uh, uh, engine components, uh, but pretty much into a different marketplace. Uh, when I say marketplace, I'm referring to the type of racing, and uh, and it's pretty much the hardcore performance parts is what I'm relating to, uh, where they use uh, a solid engine block and solid cylinder heads, and you'll find some of these uh, found in, uh, say, the tractor pulling area where you find... Uh, uh, there's some held out here on the west coast uh, in, in uh, uh, up in northern California, Tulare County, for example. Uh, they have events uh, there that uh, they're single-engine tractors that are actually farm-type tractors. And then the custom ones with uh, multiple engines in them, and you'll have uh, some with actually five engines in them. Uh, but that's pretty much uh, what our new sponsor's uh, being involved. It's B&B uh, Performance Products. And uh, the um, the parent company is uh, in Brunswick, Ohio, and uh, they're they're also out here. Uh, you can reach them out here in California as well. A lot of the manufacturing of their products are done here, uh, pretty much in the Southern California area. A uh, couple of the things that they're going to be involved with, uh, not only in manufacturing, they're going to be involved with the distribution of uh, various. Uh, named brand products as well. And part of uh, what we're going to discuss today is uh, basically what they offer uh, and uh, for the performance industry. Uh, this is going to be a, uh, a offshoot of uh, what we would call a Chevrolet big block, but only in dimension only. It, it is pretty much, like I said, solid block, hardcore, but the, the, the spacing for the crankshaft and the space apart for the pistons uh, Pretty much the same as a big block Chevy. However, sturdier parts. Uh, you, you find, for example, the head studs are not uh, like we would find in a Chevrolet uh, to hold the heads on. A, a Chevrolet stock engine normally has about a 7 16 fastener. These have uh, actually 9 16 fasteners in them, things of that nature. But again, we go back to the fact that they're making engine blocks, hardcore, finished, ready to run. And another product that they make is a cylinder head for that particular uh, engine block it uh, it's a hemispherical design head and it's a high quality part uh, it's uh, high tech uh, casting aircraft quality castings and they're making not only the block as i mentioned but cylinder heads as well and items that they're going to distribute are uh, a uh, a replica of the 426 Chrysler in aluminum basically the 426 Chrysler engine uh, the original design was actually uh, done in Southgate, California, at Keith Black Racing Engines. Uh, the uh, Chrysler engineer uh, came to town uh, and had intentions of uh, formulating a, a, a joint program with Keith Black and uh, because he was heavily involved in drag boats at the time. And uh, they formulated the, the new engine block, which is currently called the, the new 426, which is used in racing as well. And uh, getting a comparable engine block to what was originally designed there in uh, black. It's, uh, it's, a, it's uh, owned by a gentleman named Don Ferguson and Ferguson Racing. And he is now the manufacturer of this block, and B&B Performance Products will be handling that particular item as well as distribution uh, for that, along with a uh, racing head, which is a 426 head manufactured by B&B by B Performance Products. Uh, another line of products that they're going to be managing uh, primarily is uh, from Carroll Shelby Enterprises. Uh, now, that's an interesting thing because uh, these engines are found in uh, the Shelby uh, Mustangs and uh, the Shelby uh, uh, Cobras. Uh, they will handle complete engines and related components, and uh, that is going to be another part of the distribution for uh, the B&B &B Performance products. They're currently now in process of uh, uh, finalizing their uh, website, which will probably be online here in the next 60 days, 
And when that comes about, I'll be glad to make that announcement. I'm sure that uh, that will be readily available uh, for folks if they're interested in any of these items. And, again, it, it covers the full gamut from the street rod marketplace where you can get a Ford engine. And if you have a project car that you'd like to have a, an authentic Shelby car that's registered with part number, uh, authenticating the 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 uh, the engine that it is a true Shelby product, uh, you'll be able to do that. And uh, the, one of the local distributors, besides uh, uh, Shelby, will be a B&B Performance Products. So that's uh, a little bit of information here that is coming forward here, and uh, we're very pleased to uh, be able to announce that. And. Uh, so there'll be uh, uh, some more ad- additional information coming uh, soon for those product lines. And uh, but one of the things I also wanted to bring about is, uh, uh, along with the areas of uh, sponsors and, and what we have, is that uh, uh, we there's other things out there that are uh, moving forward as well in the in the areas of motorsports. It's going through a major transition. It's uh, I'm going to lean on drag racing for a little bit here. Uh, I find that uh, uh, there's uh, a, a big move afoot uh, here in Southern California anyway uh, to kind of go back to our roots. Uh, our roots are uh, nostalgia drag racing, which is a little more affordable than what the, the big show, as we call it, uh, NHRA's big show, which is the top fuelers and uh, the current uh, a group of funny car racers that are out there that travel the circuit, 23 events a year they go to. Well, those who uh, remember the old days when uh, funny cars first came into being, and a lot of these cars are coming out of the the woodwork, as we call it, uh, with the original names like uh, the Blue Max and... uh, and the Teacher's Pet and various cars of that nature. Well... This weekend, you're going to be having the good fortune, if you're able to do a little traveling for the holiday, that uh, you might find yourself uh, on maybe on the way to Las Vegas. Well, they have a nice uh, drag strip up there that uh, there's uh, approximately, uh, I'd say, 21 cars that I know of that are going to be there that are signed up to to, uh, run up there in this nostalgia event. It's called... uh, Heritage Series, uh, and it's kind of headed up by uh, Gary Densham, who, again, is a top fuel funny car racer, but he also, because of his love for the sport, he's uh, now heavily involved in uh, the nostalgia version of uh, drag racing, which is something he really cares for. And I thought that was really a neat deal, uh, that he would be there. And there's some others, some famous names, like uh, Ron Caps. He drives a car, and then you're going to find... Uh, uh, the Petragon family, that they're, they've uh, now developed a, a vehicle also in the nostalgia ranks that uh, uh, they're going to be running as well. So it's it's gone back to its roots. So that's, uh, and, they're, they're, of course, they're limited to uh, – uh, the engines are limited, not like the big show. I mean, you have uh, a single uh, magneto, you have a certain size tire, and you have uh, – uh, a, a certain size engines pretty much and uh, the lower sizes are smaller of course and that's to keep them uh, within the range of what they used to be back in the early days uh, but they're having a real nice event there in Vegas and you're also going to find uh, uh, dragsters there from nostalgia dragsters which are the fuel dragsters and then you're going to have uh, what they call a fuel which is uh, pretty much uh, the uh, alcohol version uh, of dragster front engine cars that they're going to be running there. A lot of the um, gas, uh, uh, A-gas cars are going to be there, too. You're going to have quite an array of, uh, again, going back to nostalgia. We're having uh, the, a lot of the, like the Stone Woods and Cook replicas and the Masmanian replicas and the Junior Thompson cars and cars of that era. Uh, that style of car will be there as well, competing in the in the gas uh, gas ranks. So you're gonna you're gonna have a good show to go to if you decide to, do you want to take a little trip and uh, spend some time in Vegas and uh, drop by the drag strip. You're gonna have a a very nice show uh, if you're into drag racing. That would be something to see, and it it gives you a little outing, and you can kind of drop into the casino if you need to do that. 